the whole thing ain't gonna be peaches and cream poo like if you have that in your mind just please go ahead and get that out because that's not that's not how it goes Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Zora. I talk, vlog, and make other lifestyle related content. So subscribe, period. First things first, if you don't already know what a gap year is, I'm just gonna let you know. A gap year is basically when you take a break between school. So like, I take a gap year between high school and college. People take gap years between college and grad school. Basically <laughs> taking a gap in your education because usually people just go doo doo doo, like right on through. A gap year, also known as a sabbatical year, is typically a year long break before or after college slash university, during which students engage in various educational and developmental activities, such as travel or some type of regular work. That's what Google said. So I took my gap year after I graduated from high school. But my gap year was a little bit different because normally you hear about people taking gap years where they're traveling, they're working, or they're just chilling. Like a gap year could really be anything. Like you could plan it, you could have somebody else plan it, or you could go with the program. So that's what I did. I studied abroad in Germany with the Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange Program, which is a program between Germany and America. And basically they pay for you to live in Germany for a year with a host family, you go to school, which was, and you're basically supposed to learn about the German culture from living in it. The thing is I went on my gap year and I realized like, the whole thing ain't gonna be peaches and cream poo. Like, if you have that in your mind, just please go ahead and get that out because that's not, that's not how it goes. Like, <laughs> that's not how it goes, okay? I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of what my experience was like. Me and about 50 other exchange students met up in DC. We were at the Capitol, we did some stuff there, and then we flew to Germany the next day together. All of us were either in high school or taking a break between college, so we're all around the same youngish age, um, not just being thrown into another country. We got the chance to go together and I made great friends there. It was a great time to bond with the other exchange students. So when I first got to Germany, I went to language camp and language camp was in Bad Lasfa, Germany. And basically Bad Lasfa is like, I don't know, in my head right now, Bad Lasfa is such a happy place because when I first got there, I was living it up. I was sad because I was like away from my friends. I had just graduated high school though, so I wasn't super sad because everybody from my high school was going their own ways. Like everybody was going to college somewhere or another and I was just going to another country with a six hour time difference and that, that's, <laughs> that was just that. Yeah, so when I first got there, of course I miss my friends and my family, but I lived in a castle. Like I was living in a castle. I was like, oh, this is the life. There's horses out there, it's a forest, and we are in the mountains. Like, it was really, really cute. So I was taking language classes, I was learning German. They separated us into our level of German knowledge. While we were in language camp, I was in middle-ish German. Because I knew basic German, I just wasn't super good at it yet. Because I had done two summer camps that were like immersive German summer camps. Nerd, I know. So I knew a little bit of German and I could try to communicate what I wanted. Um, so we basically were in German class a lot of the time, but we also did like a whole bunch of bonding and reflection kind of things. Like we wrote journals, we wrote notes to each other, which were so sweet. Like I have them here still. It's been three years, it's been three years and I still talk to some of them to this day. And even the ones I don't talk to, I love. Yeah, so language camp was basically, we learned German, we got to know what it's like living in Germany. We had some little field trips where we experienced like German culture. We went to another castle because there are so many castles in Europe. We also went into the town like Freitag and Bad Lasfa. There were like live bands there. And it was really kind of just like a American bubble within Germany. Like we were living our best of lives. So that's how I spent my first month in Germany. Learning German, going on excursions, getting to know other Americans and reflecting on our experiences and basically preparing us for the whirlwind of culture shock we were about to endure, which we didn't know. We were living our best lives at this point. We were like, yes, yay, we love Germany, it's great. We love each other, yes. Even though learning German was hard. Like at this point we were like kind of, it was hard because we were learning German all day. This was like the dip in the pool because we were like eating German food. We were speaking German a lot of the day, but we also had Americans to talk to. So we weren't speaking German the whole time. and. Yeah, we got to go to like go to the little village. It's really small in Badlasfa, so it wasn't like that many things to do. Um, but like we got to interact. We got to go to the grocery store in Germany, do little things like that that really helped us dip our foot in the pond before we were thrown into like 
living the German life for real, for real. The quick rundown of my experience is that I lived in Bad Laspa for the month of August and I went to language camp with all the other American exchange students. Then we went our own separate ways and I went to Hamburg where I lived from August until about October and then I lived in Rheinbeck from October until about December and then I lived in Göttingen from December until June which was the end of my program. Before you get like, whoa, why'd you move so much? That's not normal for this program. So the program basically wants you to live with one whole family the whole time, go to school, with the same people the whole time. That way you can kind of form your routine so it's not constantly like being thrown into like new situations all the time. But me, me I moved three times. Also during my experience I got to take lots of trips here and there. I got to do things like travel to Paris, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Vienna, and lots of places around Germany like Munich, Hamburg, um, Frankfurt, Bonn, other places that are just really cool to say you've gone to and experienced as a young person because at this time I was like 17, 18. So my gap year was different because it was an exchange year. So we Americans went to Germany and Germans came to America and it's like that that's why it's an exchange because 50 Germans, 50 Americans, switch, yeah. What also made it different than a normal gap year is that I had to go to school. Um, a lot of people when they take their gap year they're like taking that the gap year to get away from school or because they're not wanting to be in school or taking time off from school but I was still in school but since I had graduated my grades didn't count and when I came back to America people were not really caring people were not like oh I want to hear all about it and clearly I could talk about it all day but people were like cool next what's your favorite color like that's a random thing but like people were just like Meh, I'm gonna pass on talking about that also I started a summer program that would help um, basically streamline my experience into becoming a freshman in college so I left Germany a little bit early I didn't go home with everybody else so when I arrived in America I hadn't even really registered that I had left Germany for real I was just kind of looking forward and I never really took the time to look backwards so taking the time to look backward kind of sometimes it hurt but also sometimes it's very much really happy you get nostalgia you get happy feelings from it because I did so many things it's easy to forget all the fun times you had it's easy to forget all the bad times you had. I had never given myself the time to really sit back and reflect and say, oh, this all happened because I was on to the next. I started college. I was like, let's do college. And then I didn't even take a break that summer. That summer I went back to Germany and I studied abroad. I was really just kind of going. And I never had really taken a minute to be like, so what just happened there? Even though with CBYX, they really push you to reflect. They're like, write that in your journal or like, Think about why this happened. They were really, really big on that, but um, it's a lot for a young person to have to think, oh wow, all that really just occurred. Um, and it's a processing time that, I guess it took me three years, but here I am. And let me know down in the comments if you're thinking about studying abroad or have studied abroad or I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I want to study abroad. If you're like choosing between college and studying abroad, I know the corona may have changed some of those plans for some of you, but definitely don't like, count it out and definitely do your research definitely think about it and plan out like what you really want to get out of that experience because it's gonna it's gonna change your life like not to be cliche or anything like it's gonna change your life period if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you like me <laughs> go ahead and subscribe and also let me know if you want to hear any more about my exchange year or my study abroad which i also took or any of that because i'm planning on talking about all of that on here, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for this video, so I'll talk to you guys on Sunday. Bye, friends.